How's it going everyone? It's Brief OS here and welcome to the third part of UI Table View. In this part it's gonna be pretty exciting because we now actually gonna bring our cell to the table view. So let's start by going back to the very first, which is main or storyboard. And we're gonna do what we did before, which is link our table view to view controller. I'm just gonna double click at view controller here. I'm gonna arrange them. Right? Control drag table view in view controller. I'm gonna name it table view. That's it. Close this one. Bring it back. And yeah, that's it. Let's go to view controller. You can see table view is now attribute of the view controller. And the next thing what we need is the data for house and words. So I prepare for you guys under the description below. You can copy and paste them. So now I'm just gonna create new attribute which is words data yeah and this is for house it's a list right and words data next let's name our view controller self dot title equal to ui table view next let's say our table view dot data source equal to self table view dot delegate equal to self and I'm just gonna wait for the error three two one go yeah you can see that we're now asking we now writing that uh, our self here which is view controller which is UI view controller to act as the data source and delegate of table view which they are not, they are just UI view controller. We just have to implement two more, which is UI table view delegate and UI table view data source, and that's it. We're now ready to manipulate our table view. And next, what we like to do is to register our cell that we created here, two files here, to our table view. So we can do that by creating another attribute, another object, which is called Nip name, I'm just gonna name it nip name. UI nip nip name will be the name of the class which is table view cell and bundle equal to no. Right. And next is actually it's gonna register this. So table view dot register and nip name which is the cell right and cell for reuse for identifier which is right and this is very important because now we're gonna call our table view cell by this name right so i'm just gonna copy this one go back to our xib file and then select the whole cell and go back to this inspector here and you can see there's a label for the in identifier. I'm just gonna paste it here. So table view cell. This must match with what we wrote before here. So that's it. Now we just register our cell to our table. Next, we will specify how many cell our table view will contain. So we can do that by this function. We're just gonna type table view and number of rows in section and then enter. I'm just gonna say return the number of house data list and that's it. And next function is the function to set each cell attribute which is table view and uh, cell for row at index path. That's it. And I'm just gonna create a cell that we're gonna dequeue from our table view that we just register above, right? Requeue usable cell with identifier string for index path, right? And the string is of course the name identifier that we just copy, right? Table view cell. And index path is the same one as this, as this one. Index path. And that's it. We now just create a cell temporarily in this function that we dequeue from our table view, right? And of course, uh, I forgot we have to cast them 
as our table view cell so now this cell is actually our our table view cell that we created with common init function right so now we can say cell dot common init right and add the name that is of the name name of the the icon right so got is game of Thrones, okay and uh we add the index path dot index oh, dot item yeah excuse me and title is house data at the index of index path dot item and also a subtitle which is words data at index path dot item and yeah and we can return this cell back to this function so in th this function actually just iterate from zero to the number of house data this actually for each of the cell so for example the first cell will correspond to this uh, icon and this index right for each index so it will iterate through each of the cell and after we set the attribute after we set everything, we're going to return this cell back to our table view that now our table view can recognize our cell as that, you know, this icon and this name and this subtitle. And I guess that's it. That's it, really. So maybe we can try to run it now. Here we go. That's it. It's very beautiful for me now. No, I'm kidding. What we need next is just one more function which is specify the height right so just gonna say table view and then height I'm sure there is yeah height for row at so I'm just gonna return approximately 86 maybe yeah let's run it again and that's it we just add our table view cell to our table view with different icon different title different subtitle and uh, that's it we just did it guys and yeah in the next part it's gonna be the last part which is gonna show you how to create a segue when you click on the cell it will push to another view controller which correspond to Lannister for example yeah so see you in the next one